We are talking about all the different reasons why exactly it would not rain. And says the Gemara, Amar Rav Katina, En ha-geshamim ne'etzarin al-bishvil bitul Torah. Why is it that it doesn't rain? Because of bitul Torah. You heard. Says the Gemara, so says, En ha-geshamim ne'etzarin al-bishvil bitul Torah. How do we know? Shne'emar, but it says in the Pasuk, Ba'atzaltayin imach ha-mekare. What is atzaltayin? What is atzaltayin? Atzlatu. Atzlatayin is atzlanut. What is atzlanut? Being lazy. Which means that they come and they say, Ba'atzaltayin is atzlanut. Atzlanut is that they're lazy. Yimach ha-mekare. What does that mean? Says the Gimara, Bishvil atzlut shaya b'Yisrael. Because of the laziness that they had in Israel. Shilo asku ba-Torah that they didn't learn Torah. The enemies of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Again, who is the enemies? It's a euphemism. Sagid Lehor for what? For Bnei Yisrael, the what? That they become mach. They become poor. Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu does not give rain. If there's no rain, there's drought. There's drought, there's hunger, there's famine, there's no produce. And that is all because we do not learn Torah. So if we learn Torah, we do not Become mach, right? Says the Gemara, ve'en mach el ani, right? When it says the word mach, right, it means aniut. Shneimar, but it says in the pasuk, v'imach hu merkecha. If the person that's giving the neder does not have the money, that he's mach, right? He is. It's also, if you want, you could think about it from the muf, or you could think about it from another. But basically, it's a lashon of aniut. Ve'en mekare. Ela Kadosh Baruchu. What is Mekare? Ha Kadosh Baruchu. Shneemar Bazazan Pasuk. Ham Kareva Maim Aliotav. Sham, upstairs, that's a Tikrala Shamaim, that's a Liotav, that's a Mekare. What is a Mekare? Ha Kadosh Baruchu. The simple explanation in the Pasuk is that if a person is lazy and he doesn't fix and he doesn't patch up the holes in his roof, so therefore at the end the entire roof will cave in. That's a simple explanation of the Pasuk. That when a person is lazy, his entire roof will cave in. However, though, the, the Gemara is making the Dirasha that it's talking about that if a person does not learn the Torah, so therefore he will become, right, mach. He will become, right, he will become poor. This is all the, 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 the Pasuk of teaching us of the Torah. Rav Yosef Amar, Rav Yosef says, I have another place where to learn it from. You guys are learning it from the pasuk from Ba'at Saltai Mimacha Mekare. There's another pasuk. Rav Yosef says, Mehacha from here, it's a pasuk in Iov. Ve'ata lo re'u or bahir hu bashehakim ve'ruach averav atitarem. What does that mean? And now you will not see light. We have to understand what is the light exactly. But you will not see light. Bahir. It is very clear in the Shechakim in the heavens. And all of a sudden, a wind will come and pass and will purify it. What's going on? Says the Gemara, or Torah. Right? We always say that the Torah or. Kinen mitzvah, the Torah or. So the, the Torah is a light upon the nations. The Torah is a light upon the nations. The Torah is light. So that is the Pshat of or. That, so Beata, and now. If you don't see Torah, Bahiru Bashekhakim. What does that mean? Tana Tevere Bi Ishmael, they learned in the Karabi of Ishmael. Afilu Besha Shirakia Nase Beorim Beorim. Even if you're going to have the Darakia, the firmament is going to be like Beharim Beharim, Beharot Beharot is in Pasukin Tazriya Tara. They were referring to the Tzadat. Sarat is Remember? white dots. What does that mean? That means even if you have patches all over the place, right? With clouds all over in the Shamayim. Ruach right. will pass by. The wind will come, take away the clouds, and then it will not rain. So you see from here that this Pasuk is teaching that when a person does not learn Torah, if you don't see light, you will not see the rain. 
Why? Because even though in the, in the Shemayim you look, ah, it's full of clouds, it's full of everything. It's not going to come and it's not going to come. Amar Rabbi Ami says, Rabbi Ami, another one. You know why it's not going to rain? Because people are stealing. If people steal, there's not going to be rain. The Pasuk in Yom says, Al Kapayim, which means Al does not mean on. It's like Ba'avur, because of, Biglal, Bishvil. Right, which means ba'avur kapayim because of the kapayim kisa or right there will not be the geshem. Now, how do you know though that first of all kapayim means gezel, and how do you know that or means geshem? We said two minutes ago that or was the light, which was the Torah. The end kapayim el Hamas. You know what the kapayim is. They had Hamas in their in their palms of their hands. They had a gazelle in their hands. So therefore, that's gazelle. The n or el matar. What is or matar? Shneimar yafitz anan oro. Hakadosh Baruch Hu, which here it's referring to the Malach, he's going to spread out the anan of the geshem of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. So you see from here that or is the geshem. So again, one more time, it says. Ba'avur, which that's what we're saying, al is like ba'avur, al kapayim kisa or. So my takante. So what exactly is the takana? Right? What is the takana? At the end of the day, right? We need a takana. Well, how are we going to fix it? We need rain. Yarbebet fila. When a person comes and he prays, and he prays, and he prays, and he prays, you continue praying. Then yarbebet fila, he will get the rain. Shneema says al basuk. And because the Kadosh Baruch Hu comes and because the person is Bimavgiya, he's going to come and he's going to command the rain, right, to come down. Then Pegiyah, what is Pegiyah? Pegiyah is Tfilah, Chazak Baruch. Pegiyah is also a bomb, right? It's a, a Pegiyah, right, is also. No, no, no. Pagum is defective in the merits, right? Vayivgaba Makom, Chazak Baruch. But it says here, How do we know the pigiyah is tefillah? Shneemar says in the pasuk in Irmiyah, "Ve'atal titpalel be'ad amazeh ve'al tivgabi." So you see from here that you're not going to pray for this person, and you're not going to be tivgabi. So you see from here the lashon of pigiyah is tefillah. So when a person comes and they start praying, so then what happens is he triggers the rain. So that's why it's so important the prayer. We were learning before all the reasons why it stops the rain. Whether it's going to be because of Trumotu Masot, whether it's going to be because of Geshem, whether it's going to be because of Gezel, whether it's going to be because of the Shonara, whether it's going to be because of Itul Torah, whether it's going to be because of Azeh Panim, whether it's going to be because of Mitchaivu Shonem Shel Yisrael Chlaya, whether it's going to be because, no, so then, and then all the positives, that if it's already raining, so already Mim Chalu Avunotem Shel Yisrael, we had our sins forgiven. We have a, a, a Yeshua, we have salvation, we have, uh, you know, the, and the greatnesses of the rain. But here we're referring to that already if it doesn't rain, what are we supposed to do? What you're supposed to do is you have a bit fila, pray and pray and pray and pray. And once you're going to pray, it will rain. Have a wonderful day.